Family, what's good? Welcome to Dr. Spine Natural. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, my name is Dr. V, and I got a great video for you today. Paying homage to Versus, shout out to Twist Beats and uh, Timberland. I'm gonna have our own little Versus today with two great companies. That's right, starting off CVS versus Walgreens. I'm gonna have a bunch of different metrics I'm gonna go uh, and look through. And we're gonna see if we can pick a winner, which retail pharmacy is the best. Before I get into it, I kindly ask, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. Comment down below, but most of all, share with others. Okay, let's get right into it. CVS versus Walgreens, which uh, stock is the best to buy? Okay, family, so here we are. We're going to start with a historical comparison on the stock price. The yellow line is Walgreens. The blue line is CVS. So we can see historically, Walgreens has it. And if you're just looking here at the numbers, Walgreens is um, over the, the max life of trading the stock up over 13,000% compared to almost 3% for CVS. But we want to also look at what's been going on more recently. Over the past five years, CVS has outperformed Walgreens, uh, bringing home just a 12% loss, where Walgreens over the past five years has lost over 36%. Over the past year, pretty much even, CVS edging them out by half a percentage point in returns over the past year. Year to date, Walgreens has done quite better um, from January 1, 2021. It's up 27% compared to 19% for CVS. Both are actually pretty doing pretty well for the year. Over the past six months should be about the same as year to date. Yep, because we're at the halfway point of this year. Over the past month, Walgreens has done better. I guess I won't say significantly, but they've done better than uh, CVS. They've lost almost half a percentage point, 0.44, where CVS has lost 2.83% since June 1. So you can see Walgreens is doing slightly better there. Over the past five days, Walgreens has been doing better. Walgreens is up. And then, of course, today, Walgreens is doing better. Walgreens up a percentage point compared to CVS, pretty much sideways uh, down 0 0.036 uh, of a percent. Now, some news, Walgreens will have earnings on tomorrow. Well, uh, so that could be why they might be having a run up to their earnings with some people expecting some good earnings with Walgreens tomorrow, why their stock price may be doing better in the near term in the past five days compared to CVS. But historically, I'm gonna give the point to Walgreens for here going to give that point to Walgreens. Now, what we want to also look at, market cap. Open up a new one here. Size and market cap, CVS, as CVS stock, we can see they have a market cap of $109.85 billion. See that here? While Walgreens quickly let's go into it as a market cap of 45 billion. So CVS is definitely the bigger company. CVS also has a greater market share um, in the retail pharmacy industry. You can see CVS has a 24.8% market share in the U.S. compared to Walgreens 19. Now let me 
compared to Walgreens, 19.1%. But they are by far the two leaders in the uh, retail prescription drug industry with CVS taking a lead in that. So when we go by size, market cap, and market share, that point definitely goes to yes. All righty. Let's get into value. And the way I want, I'm going to be determining the value of each of these uh, companies is through their PE ratio and the PEG ratio. Don't know what they are, go ahead and look them up. But we can see WBA Walgreens uh, PE ratio. Let's bring it up here so I can do a quick side to side comparison compared to C. Yes. All right. So this is Walgreens. In 2020, their uh, PE ratio was 10.97. CVS in 2020, 11.3. Remember, the lower the PE ratio, uh, the better value the company is. All righty. Now, going into... 2021, 2022, and 2023 estimates, 11, 10, and 9, 10, 10, and 9. CVS uh, slightly better going into forward-looking estimates and projections. Now looking at the PEG ratio, Walgreens, 100 of a percent better i'm gonna call that draw and overall i'm gonna call it a draw when it comes to value i'm gonna call it an overall draw looking at that all right family stick with me we're gonna find out which one of these companies is the best which is the better buy for us now Something that's really important that I want to look at. Dividend history. Dividend history for CVS. Let's look at the dividend history for Walgreens. So Walgreens has a 3.58 dividend yield. Pays a $1.87 annually currently. CVS as a 2.38 dividend dividend yield. So Walgreens by far has the better dividend yield. But we also want to look at it and we can remember this going back into my dividend aristocrat video. We want to see who's been increasing their dividend year in and year out. Let's go to CVS because I believe the uh, dividend history is a little shorter for CVS here on the NASDAQ. We can see since 2013, they've increased it in 13, they increased it in 2014, they increased it in 2015, they increased it in 2016, they increased it in 2017, and since 17, it's held steady at 50 cent per quarter. But no missed quarters, they have paid their dividend every quarter it's currently at 50 cent Walgreens since let's go back to 2013 to keep it even it's been 31 cent and 2030 it was 27 cent then they increase it towards the end of 2013 to 31 then in 2014 it went from 31 to 33 in 2015 from 33 to 36 in 2016 from 36 to 37 and 2017 from 37 to 40 2018 it went from 40 to 44 2019 from 44 to 45.75 and then they raised it another penny in uh 2021 so what so we can see here Walgreens consistently uh even if it's only a little bit they consistently 
increase their dividend. Now, another thing that we can also look up, not going to do it, but if you want to, you can go on your own and look up the uh, payout ratio for the dividends just to see which company uh, would be able to better sustain their dividend. Now, these are two market leaders. I believe both will sustain their dividend going forward. If they were able to pay that dividend through the pandemic, they will be able to sustain their dividend going forward. So, going by the two, going by the metric of the dividend yield and the fact that Walgreens has increased their dividend year in and year out, where uh, CVS has not increased their dividend since 2017, I'm going to give a point for the dividends to Walgreens. All right. Last thing I want to look at are the price targets so let's take this out get some of these windows closed let's look first at w e a price target and c s price target We want tip ranks, tip ranks for both. There we are. So according to the analysts, Walgreens has a nine, almost 10% upside for their medium, median. And oh, CVS, 14% upside for their median. So looking at looking at price targets, CVS has it. What we can do is to be safe. Let's look at more CNN money in thirteen. Thirteen percent, and let's look at the median here. Oh, only six percent. So definitely, when it comes to price targets, out of analysts, CBS has it. Family, going by the metrics I just used, we have a three-three tie. So I guess I am going to have to be the tiebreaker. Hmm. Taking into account current price, current values, I would have to give it to us. It's, it's pretty close. It's really pretty much dead even. I am biased I'm, as far as shopping. I like CVS better. But I would have to give the win to Walgreens because I'm giving a little more weight to the fact that they currently increased their dividend year in and year out. It was a close one, but I'm going to give Walgreens the winner. Your family, I want you to comment down below. Tell me what you think. Which one of these uh, retail pharmacies do you like best? Walgreens or CVS? For me, in this challenge, definitely going to be giving it to Walgreens. When it comes to the shopping, if I had a choice, though, I will probably pick CVS. But if I had to buy a stock today between the two, it would probably be Walgreens. Now... Walgreens does have earnings on tomorrow. Keep your eye open for that. Walgreens earning date tomorrow at 8.30. Let's see how they do. I don't play earnings because earnings can go either way. I've shown that in, in numerous videos in the past. 
it can have a great earnings and the uh, stock price still fall. So uh, I don't play earnings. If you do play earnings, let me know in the comment section how you uh, how you may be playing it. And let me know what you think about this versus. Let me know if it's two other companies that the family uh, would like to see go head to head. Remember, they have to be, I want them to be direct competitors and in the same industry. I do have a few here that, um, I, I, of course, Home Depot versus Lowe's. I'm going to have those uh, two coming up. But let me know uh, two other companies that you would want to see going head to head. And thank you for uh, commenting. I actually got the idea for this because one of the subscribers asked me to uh, look into CVS. And as I was looking into CVS, I also was looking into Walgreens. And I decided to let them go head to head. So there you have it. I'm not going to run on any further. Walgreens took it by a hair. It was so close, so close, so close. Okay, family, there you have it. Two great companies that I would uh, purchase. Two great companies that if you were to ask me were they good buys, I would definitely say yes. Both are great buys for the long term to have in your portfolio going forward. I did give Walgreens the nod for the dividend. However, if someone else was judging, they may have gave the nod to CVS because they have better expected appreciation in the uh, stock price. It all depends on what you will be putting more value in going forward. All right, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be ending this video with a prayer, but before I do, I kindly ask, Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Comment down below. But most of all, share with others. And I'm going to finish with a prayer. And if you would like, you can pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all you have done. Continue to bless your family, Lord God. Continue to bless your people, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for all you have done. Bless us with wisdom and knowledge so that we can do exceedingly and abundantly well in the stock market. Bless us with all our investments, Heavenly Father, and bless us so that we can be a blessing to others. Bless our families for generations to come with financial freedom and financial independence. May our cups runneth over. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Family, be blessed.